Hi, today I'm going to be talking about using Indeba Active in back pain. So what are some of the causes of back pain? Well, often it's overuse injuries. So people who are doing a lot of picking things up, bending and twisting at the same time, and that repetitive motion of doing that over a long period of time. We oft often talk about poor posture, so sitting at a desk in that slump position for a long period of time again um, can have an impact on our actual discs in the back. And also our muscles become weak, um, especially our abdominal muscles, and those core muscles become weak, so that poor posture can contribute to low back pain. And joint degeneration, so as we age, we can get osteoarthritis in the joints of the spine. And some of the symptoms of back pain... Um, just a generalised ache in that lower back region, so that lumbar area there. Um, we can also get acute muscle spasm, so often patients will report they pick something up or they've slightly twisted or they've sneezed or they've coughed and there was a real big shoot of pain. The back all seems to go into spasm and they complain about not being able to move. So those muscles have actually just all tightened up to try and protect that back area. Um, some patients will also report about radiating pain, and that normally can go in combination with the muscle spasm. So that sciatic pain that starts tracking down the back of the leg, it's really important that you see a physio or a doctor to determine what's going on in terms of radiating pain and sciatic pain. They just need to check a couple of things to make sure that there's nothing more serious going on. But often it is due to the muscle spasm. And also stiffness in the back, so feeling like you can't move properly, you've got a decrease in that range of movement. So what can we do in terms of treatment? Um, we can do a local treatment, so that's anything that's directly working on um, the vertebrae itself in that real local area in the lower back. So you'll notice that your therapist will always wear um, a glove when using one of the electrodes. So when we talk about local treatment, we can actually do things where we're holding the treatment, um, the, holding the, the electrode head and doing our mobilizations directly onto the back, making sure that the other hand isn't touching the electrode because you want all of that energy from Indeba to go directly into the patient. You're not wanting to take any of that energy back yourself. Um, and you can get a real nice thermal effect on the back, which helps to decrease their pain, but you get much better into much better mobilizations as well because the patient's more tolerant when they've got um, thermal um, heat in there. You can also do um, more global treatments. So if you, for instance, have the patient in one of your positions for doing a mobilization on um, rotational, so you can hold that electrode there and actually do rotations on the patient um, to again increase um, the range of movement at the spine and decreased pain. So what are the beneficial effects of Indeba in lower back pain? Well, we know that it decreases the inflammation. We also can say that it decreases the pain because as we're applying it, we're getting more um, heat into the area, which is really nice for reducing that muscle spasm as I spoke about before. We can also restore function, so that range of movement starts to improve. And if it's used as a package of treatment, including obviously the advice and the core exercises that we always do when we are treating lower back pain, it can make for a really, really nice treatment. And patients enjoy this type of treatment because of the heating effect. It really helps to reduce that pain down. So improving local circulation to that area helps deliver oxygen and nutrients. So when we've got acute swelling and inflammation, um, we can start to remove those inflammatory um, processes that are going on and speed them up as well. Um, and like I say, that thermal effect reduces the pain. <laughs> 